Well, Center Point has 18 staging areas for out of town crews. Viewers tell us they've driven by them and asked us why so many trucks were parked and not out in the field doing repair work. So the KHOU 11 investigates team did some surveillance work today. Here's Jeremy Rogowski. We had eyes on three staging areas. Our photojournalist was up in Tomball. I was across from the KDISD football stadiums and we spoke with an out of state line worker who was stationed in Galveston. It's eight in the morning at this Katy staging site and we pick three random trucks to keep an eye on. This green tree trimming truck and these two white bucket trucks. Down in Galveston, we checked in with our linemen who asked not to be identified. How long have you been on the clock? 6 a.m. It was almost 9 a.m. when we talked. Now we're sitting in a parking lot. Sitting and waiting? Correct. Waiting for his work orders. An hour and a half later, he texted, still nothing. And an hour after that, we got work now. Meanwhile, up in Tomball, we tracked how many trucks left this staging site over three hours. 21 the first hour, 30 the next hour, and 22 the third. 67. The parking lot still had plenty of trucks when we left. And back in Katy, just past 11, and our two trucks are still here. Those white trucks didn't take off until 11.33. And as for that green tree trimming rig, our tree trimming truck's still there. And it is just after noon. It would be another 26 minutes before it took off. And by the time it made it to the job site, the first tree branch was cut at 118 in the afternoon. Darren Carroll is Centerpoint Senior Vice President of Operations. Viewers are saying, I see all these trucks, but wonder why are they in this parking lot and not out in the field? It's a fair question. Totally empathize with customers thinking that and wondering that. Um, what I will tell you is that safety is at the forefront of everything that we do. Carroll said external crews must undergo safety briefings and other logistical preparations, and that takes time. Should it take four or five hours to get these guys moving and doing the work they were hired to do? It's not something that happens in, in every case, and you know we don't know the exact circumstances of, of why that may have happened, right? So I don't, I don't want to speak to that as though it's the norm. CenterPoint's vice president adds that all outside crews are now in place and getting workers on the road should go quicker from here on out. Back to you. All right, guys, you've seen it for yourself. Those that don't live in Houston or, the, or around the uh, surrounding, ah, surrounding areas that don't have power, they got staging areas all over the place. They're blaming the uh, arborists, the people that cut the trees down. That was that green truck you've seen. They're blaming them, saying they got to get started first. And then they're saying, oh, when they move the trees, we got to uh, do damage assessment then. And then, the, you know, then they're saying, you know, the, the power trucks are, are not moving. You've seen the whole situation. That was a good video they did. Did you see the guy? Tell him right on him. Ain't going to be identified. Look at the time they're sitting there. I've done industrial type work. They sitting around waiting for work orders. So they just sitting there, just stand by. If you got this big grid where you can see where what areas need the most attention, you should not have a bunch of trucks just sitting out there on standby when they can be doing something. 